Just a quick one on the Lornet 24 nonlinear junction detector. Uh, it comes folded like this uh, for ease of transportation. Very straightforward to use. A little catch here on does the tension so that it's easy to open. Once it's open, you can lock it again. On and off switches on the side. And what I prefer to do is set it to a manual so that you can control the sensitivity. And once that's on manual, you can then control the sensitivity with these up and down arrows here, and it's uh, indicated on this circular dial. Once that's done, the best thing to do is a proximity test. So place an item, uh, this is a covert camera as a test device. And you want to make sure, get the distance that you're comfortable at that you know will benefit your sweep. So maybe you can turn it down a couple of notches there. So that's probably a little bit too low because the distance is a little bit too great there. So you have to get too, almost too close to that really for it to be sensitive. So probably three or four um, bars on the circular dial is where you want it to be. And you've got the bar that's uh, highlighting now is uh, the second harmonic and the one at the bottom are the third harmonic. So if we use a different device here, you'll see the second harmonic going off and the third harmonic also indicating as well. Very, very useful uh, piece of equipment. Um, this is extremely easy to transport around. If you can see the size of my hands, it's massively beneficial to have it like this. Easily transportable, comes in a solid Pelican case. And to be honest, one of my preferred products for nonlinear junction detection. Also comes with uh, the battery screws out the bottom there so you can take that out to avoid corrosion. and keep spares that are fully charged. The, you've got a ceiling that's quite hard to reach. What you can do is adjust the, uh, switch it to manual, adjust the sensitivity so that it's a little bit higher. Adjust the angle so it's a bit more of a right angle. And then use it to pick up on anything that may or may not be in the vents.